I'm right next to the huge Mulgoba tree, and in this area, I have a lot of seven gallon plants getting bigger. Uh, it's a happy place. They don't get a lot of uh, the brutal sun, and uh, they just seem to do well. But then, <laughs> uh, I noticed something very different on one of the plants. And this is the plant. Uh, you know, normally we don't have this, uh, what looks like a lava flow coming out of the, the uh, bottom of the plant. Uh, this is on, uh, seems to be just on the rootstock uh, and not on the grafted portion. And uh, what this is, is slime mold. And uh, slime definitely <laughs> it needs to be part of its name because I touched it and it is slimy. Uh, you know, this I'm sure is related to being in a shady um, place that sort of stays a little bit damp. I water these plants every day, so that gives, I guess, slime mold a wonderful place to, to flourish. Uh, but this is not a good long-term situation for this tree. Uh, I don't think it's been active for very long, but I want it off because I feel like the slime mold uh, keeps things wetter than they would normally be, and that would eventually start hurting the tree. So what I've done is I figure that Paper towel is, might be our best way of getting rid of it, and we'll see how that goes. I've never dealt with slime mold like this before. Oh my, you can just get like a big old hunk of it. Look at this. <laughs> that is not right. Not a good thing for the tree, but I think we got it off in time where it didn't cause any you know, real damage to the tree itself. It's just, I need to put this tree into a, a sunnier location to make sure that all of this um, slime mold gets uh, exposed to heat and sun, and I think it will be just fine. But yeah, uh, that is just, <laughs> just really something. Let's look on the other side of it. That was the part that was attached or not really attached to the tree, but using the tree for support. So, ew, ew for slime mold. Um, but this tree should be just fine. I'm going to move it just a few feet uh, out from underneath this shady area and it should dry out in no time and uh, I don't think that this will be a problem again. Ah. This seems like a very sunny location right now and I will find another place for it after uh, this whole area dries out and I'm comfortable that it's that slime mold is not going to return. Uh, that was really the first time I'd seen anything like that. But I'm sure this tree is going to grow up and be a nice healthy tree, big and lovely with gorgeous super Julie fruit.